Hello, scholars. Welcome back to another day of reading distance learning style with me, Miss Crawford. And Momo is here to join us today as well. And guys, guess what? It's fancy day. Did you wear your fanciest outfits? I grabbed a bunch of necklaces. I found this crown. I put on my fanciest dress. And I even put on some fancy makeup. I love dressing up. I had so much fun dressing up for today. What about you? I see some friends wearing, ooh, some fancy bow ties and some ties and, ooh, look at those fancy dresses. Oh, you know what? We're all dressed up nice and fancy. We need to do a group twirl. Are you ready to twirl with me? All right, my friends, stand up on your feet. Make sure you have enough space around you and we're gonna twirl. Are you ready? Come on, come join me. Okay, Momo's gonna twirl with us too. Ready guys? One, two, three. <laughs> Wasn't that so much fun, my friends? I love twirling in my fanciest dresses. That's the best part about dressing up nice and fancy. It's getting to show off your cool duds. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Yesterday, we read Hey Little Ant, and we are gonna take a look at this book again today. Before we get started, oh gosh, guys, I forgot what we read. Do you think you can help retell the first part of the story? Are you sure? Okay, remember yesterday, how we flipped back in our book to try and remember what was happening. We're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna put the pictures up on the screen over here and you can remind yourself what was happening in the story, but say what was happening out loud. Does that make sense to you? Good, all right. Here's the first picture. Oh, that's right. We did meet the boy and the ant. Oof, yeah, I didn't like that part about getting squished either. Check out the next picture. Oh yeah, that's the part where he said he had just had pie and he said, don't squish me. Whoa, that's a big picture. What happened in this part of the story again? Oh yeah, that wasn't very nice of him to say. What did the ant say here again? Oh, you're right. You're kind of like I am. Oh yeah, you're right. The boy didn't like that either. Nice job. All right, are you ready to get into it? the second half of our book? Okay, we left off with the kid saying, I'm nothing like you and no one would care if my foot squished you. And the ant says, oh, big friend, you are so wrong. My nest mates need me because I am strong. I dig our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. The kid says, but my mom says that ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and breadcrumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Do you think that ant is really a crook? A crook is a type of thief. I don't think so either. He's just taking food to feed his family. And he's not even taking that much, just the easiest, beatiest crumb. Check out what he has to say. The ant says, hey, I'm not a crook kid. Read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town. So please don't make your shoe come down. 
And the kid says, but all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. They're looking at me. They're listening too. They all say, I should squish you. Oof, that's not nice. Whoa, okay, the ant says, I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me, really tiny, and I were you, really big, what would you want me to do? Should the ant get squished? Should the ant go free? It's up to the kid. Not up to me. We'll leave the kid with the raised up shoe. What do you think that kid should do? I'll let you guys answer that question. What do you think the kid should do? Do you think the kid should squish the ant just because the ant is tiny? Ooh, really interesting thoughts. Hmm. All right, my friends. So we just read that whole book between yesterday and today. And you had a chance to tell me what happened in the beginning. And together, we're going to try and tell about this whole entire book. Now we're going to pretend we're talking to somebody that's never read this book before. So we need to make sure we're telling them the important things in our book. The important things like the characters, the important things like the setting, and the important things like the problems or the solutions or the important details. All right, let's get started. We're gonna tell somebody about this book. We need to tell them one important thing before we even get started and that's the title. Okay, so we're gonna say to somebody, I wanna tell you about the book, Hey Little Ant. And Hey Little Ant, who are the characters? That's right, the kid and the ant. And what's this? what's the setting again? Yeah, the sidewalk. Okay, so that's gonna start us off with telling somebody about our book. The book, Hey Little Ant, is about a, a kid and an ant. What else happens? Yeah, the kid wants to squish the ant. And the ant is giving him all these reasons why, you sh why he shouldn't get squished. Okay, that's the middle part. Now, how does our story end? What happens? Yeah, the ant is really important to his family. He says, I just need to feed my friends and my family and my town. I help keep them safe. And how does it end? Okay, let's wrap this book up. We figured out the problem. The ant, the boy wants to squish the ant. The ant doesn't want to get squished. The ant has a really important job to take care of his friends and family. How does it end? Yeah, the ant says, how would you feel if I squished you if you were small? The ant saying, you should think about what it's like to live in my shoes, what it's like to be tiny like me. How would you want me to treat you? And we don't find out whether the boy squished the ant right? It's up to, it's up to the kid, but we can think about what we think is right and what we think is wrong. So here's what a retell should sound like. I'm going to pretend that you've never read this story before, and I'm talking to you to tell you about Hey Little Ant. Okay, ready? Erase your brain. Pretend you've never read this book before. Hey guys, I wanna tell you about a book that I read. It's really cool. 
The title of the book is called Hey Little Ant. In Hey Little Ant, there are two characters that are really important. There's a kid and there's an ant. And the setting of our story is taking place on the sidewalk with the boys or with the kids' friends watching them. The big problem is that the boy wants to squish the ant, but the ant keeps telling him, no, 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 don't squish me. I don't want to die. I have a really important job to take care of my, my friends and my family and help them eat. And the boy kept telling the ant, well, you're just really tiny and my friends want me to squish you and my mom says ants are bad. I'm still gonna squish you. So the ant ends the story with this. He says, hey kid, what would it feel like if you were really tiny and I was really big and I was gonna squish you? What would you want me to do? And then the book ends with that question. We don't find out what happens. Isn't that crazy? Did you guys like my retail? Ooh, I bet you're gonna do an awesome job retelling your books to your teachers. Remember, that's your seesaw job for this week. Read one of your books to yourself and then retell the book to your teacher and act like they've never read the book before. So make sure you're telling them the title of the book, the important characters, the important places, and the important things that are happening in your story that make your story super special. All right, my friends, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, keep on reading. Bye, everybody.